A week ago, there was pain in my left shoulder blade. It gradually spread to my sternum. I couldn't take full breaths. Two doctors on video confirmed a panic attack versus a heart attack. I felt a bit of relief. On Monday, my doctor suspected costochondritis, an inflammation of the cartilage in the rib cage, or rheumatoid arthritis chest pain. I've had a mild version before. I was asked to come in for labs in a chest x-ray. I scheduled for Tuesday at 9 a.m. At 3 a.m., I was awoken by pain and panic. I called family abroad. I called two friends. I called front desk and left my door unlocked, just in case. I calmed down after an hour or so, packed an overnight bag, just in case. Anything to get my mind off my breathing patterns. I even did some laundry, thinking I'd like things to be clean, just in case. That's how I felt. I suddenly remembered a quote from years ago. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but the moments that take our breath away. I didn't need anything at this point to take even one breath away. Annoyed by cliche quotes, I turned to meditation and prayer and asked the pain what it wanted, why it was hanging around. I had just dealt with vertigo for six months. Brain scans, labs and tests, all normal. It slowly went away as I released each episode for the series. So much purging lately, letting go, healing emotions, past hurts from inner child wounds and shadows. I've never spent this much time alone. I heard you're spiritually imbalanced before you get physically ill. The malady, trapped in my heart space, was pain, leaving my body. While in meditation, I saw an image of myself shedding my caterpillar suit, getting ready for a pair of beautiful butterfly wings. I took a deep breath and let it go.